Hey guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch, and I am sitting here with John Parrish. If you don't know, you play Jax in Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. And Trilogy, probably. Oh, a party trilogy if they put it together, but I know I'm in 2 and 3. <laughs> yeah, right on. And so, I'll, I'll, I want to know, what was that process like? Uh, how did you get uh, the, casted for that role? How did that go down? Well, unlike some of the other characters, uh, I, wasn't, I didn't have to audition for it. Uh, at Lakeshore Athletic Club is where I was a personal trainer. Danny and um, Rich DeVizio, Carlos, they were all there. And uh, Tony Marquez, they all worked out. And they were already working on Mortal Kombat 1. And when they brought in the cabinet, the first demo, you know, they asked me how was it, you know, and I was playing the game. I said, oh, man, this is cool. Uh, except for there are no brothers in the game. And it was a joke, and uh, two weeks later they came up with a sketch of Jax, and I said, who is that? And they said, you, if you want it. I'm like, really? Do I get paid? He said, yep, I'm in. And uh, that's kind of how it all started. Wow. And uh, what was the process when you went in there? Uh, people think it was like this glamorous, like huge uh, cast <laughs> set, you know what I mean? Uh, what was that whole process like? Uh, it wasn't Hollywood, it wasn't high tech. Think of a mop closet times two, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Uh, it was a green wall that was painted. We had some duct tape on the floor. The floor was still dirty, a wooden box that we used as a prop uh, and a, uh, a gymnast mat, big thick mat that you would wrestle on. And uh, matter of fact, to, to even recall further, let's see, John Tobias had this uh, big camera and it was plugged into a computer that didn't have uh, <laughs> none of the sides on it or anything. It looked like a, a gutted machine. I'm like, Whoa, we were really high tech. We were rolling, you know, but, and that's how it was when we walked in there. So all of the moves and everything we would, we perform were performed by each individual actor. It's no CGI, no 3D, no uh, cartoon, no Photoshop, it didn't even exist. So that's, that's what it was like when we walked in. Now, I, I've watched a lot. I mean, I've been watching any kind of behind the scenes stuff I can my whole life of Mortal Kombat, one, two, three, all that. I seen one video where you're like just doing a flip off the stage. You're just like, or like just going and like, I'm like, how did he do that, man? Like, did you have any kind of martial arts or gymnastic experience before this role? Uh, most of my life I've been either in gymnastics or I was in martial arts since, when, since I was nine. Uh, so doing backflips you know even at you know the, my current weight you know is, is just a thing you know so i mean it was easy to do dan and them didn't know it till i did it and they're like oh shit, you can do that too what else can you do i said oh i can do all kind of stuff i could you know you just thought i could jump on a box five feet high i said i'm very agile for my size so i don't let don't let the size fool you <laughs> Is there a specific memory, like an, an awesome memory that you could share with us of your time uh, filming Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3? It would be Mortal Kombat 3. The guy was painting my arms with the silver and he underestimated how much paint he needed. So uh, as in the guy said in the movie Jaws, we're going to need, need a bigger boat. I said, you're going to need a, a bigger jar of paint. <laughs> so he had me actually, he ran out. You know, three what about a halfway through? He had to go and get some more from his shop, which means I had to actually stand with my hands on a music stand and a mop pole until he got back. So this whole process, which should have only taken maybe an hour, took six hours. Oh wow! <laughs> so, needless to say, that was the most memorable part of uh, of filming. Well, very inspiring because uh, you're 52 years old. You're winning competitions in weightlifting and you're in amazing shape real quickly for, for those of us, those couch potatoes out there like myself how do we get fit what does a daily workout look like for you a daily workout starts with food that's the first thing I, can do that. I eat the same exact thing every morning a bowl of oatmeal two scoops of protein powder and all my supplements that's just to start the day off with then it all depends on my clientele and where they are and you know my workouts they're planned as in what body part i'm going to do for a specific day so if it's going to be chest and tries back or buys or legs but it's planned that way so it depends on what gym i'm at time of the day what client i got floating around 
who canceled, who didn't. It depends on what I'm going to do. However, the secret is there is no specific exercise that is in the order. So everything is to my mind and body. It's like I walk in the gym, I'm going to do chest. Whether I do incline first, whether I do flies first, I don't know until I get there. That's why I don't plateau. That's why I keep growing. And for most people, not only is the kitchen important, you must rest. Men release testosterone and growth hormone only when they're asleep. The pump you get in the gym is just blood and water. It feels good, but you're not growing. You actually tear down the muscles. It does not repair until you're asleep. That's when you grow. Four hours is not gonna cut it. Two hours, I ain't gonna cut it. You need at least six. Okay, so that is the two key secrets. Eat right, sleep. And that's it. You lost me at sleep. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't do that one. I, I'm so busy all the time, but. Oh, I'm busy too. I am very busy. I run two businesses. I train over 30 clients. Okay, some, I got 5.30 in the morning, which means three days a week, I'm up at 4 a.m. And I don't go back to sleep until 11 at night. I got a design program, my computer business. I can be anywhere. I have to log into somebody's system or get a plan ready for infrastructure. So I'm busy too. So, but I was like, oh no, brother, we'll go to sleep. <laughs> All right. Well, that's inspiring. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get more rest. And I just want to thank you for your contribution to video game history. You know, I mean, to be a part of this, and I really appreciate the time that you've given us. And uh, I want to just, I was, I want to ask, would you do me the honor of going over to a Mortal Kombat machine with me? Sure. And playing me Jax against Jax. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> I mean, we could arm wrestle, no. but I know how that's going to turn out. <laughs> So this is my best chance. All right, let's go. Let's go find the machine. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Jack Paris. Do you have a website? I'm about to fight Jax. Oh yeah, I have uh, my website. There we go. This is gonna be epic. Jax against Jax. Well, thank you so much for uh, continuing to get back to the fans. So let's go get this man. Oh! Right. Oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. He focused, he focused. Oh, oh, what the hell? No, 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 no. Oh, no, how the hell? Let go. Oh, there you go. Oh. Sarah, get off me. Ah, get off. Get that, get that. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, oh, hey. You were coming at me with that one. Good thing I see. Oh, that's that one. That's oh, oh, oh! You got a little combo going. On. Oh my goodness! Okay. Oh, oh. 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 oh! It's gonna come oh. down close, kids. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Oh, he's shooting stuff, what? Come on. Oh, oh look at those arms. Oh! Hey. Those arms, what are you going to do? They're so big. Um, awesome, awesome. Awesome, man. Thank you. All right, man. Right here, guys. Fighting. Awesome. Hey, thank you. All right, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow night.